recently on social media, we heard from our old pal Rob Liefeld. Yeah, we have a bit of a history. But Rob was back around this time to refute a statement made by Wizard Magazine publisher and founder Garib Sheamus, who mentioned his connection to the image founders in the early days and an infamous I, I photo. I get a call uh, on my primitive cell phone, whatever I had at BlackBerry at the time. And it was all the guys. And they're all on the phone kind of yelling and screaming. And I remember it was like Rob was mostly kind of, you know, talking. And he's like, look, Garib, uh, this is what's going on. You know, it's me, Jim, Todd, you know, Mark, whatever. We all, we all got together. We all just left Marvel. And my heart sank. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, there goes, <laughs> there goes all the content we, were, we had planned. And they're like, no, no, no. We, like, we started a new company called Image. And, and they go... And we and and they go. We'd love for you to be the publisher. And I was like, wow. wow. I was like, that's incredible. I said, but you know, but I really love Wizard, you know, and I I don't think I could run the magazine and work with you guys. And you guys have like the biggest egos in the world. I didn't say no right away, but I was just like, look, you know, I'm I'm doing Wizard. After checking out the interview, thanks for listening, Rob. He made sure to tell us in no uncertain terms that Garib Sheamus was never offered the publisher position for Image Comics, but that he also followed up by disputing this claim. I was like, where are you guys? They're like, oh, I think they were in Malibu at the time. I think Mark <laughs> Celestri had a house or he was renting a house there. I said, I said I'll be there tomorrow. And uh, literally, you know, when when and got a ticket like literally the next day and flew out there. And luckily, because I was East Coast, I got out there pretty early, met up with the guys. I had, uh, I had my camera and I took that picture and met with them and, and really did an interview with them. But he wasn't the only one. There seemed to be a lot of confusion as to who took that photo. Todd McFarlane threw his hat in the ring to identify the photographer when he shared this video from a recent con where he identified Alex Chun as the photographer of that photo featuring the image founders and Hank Canals, more on that later. He even provided a contact sheet that Alex had brought along with him. Irrefutable proof, right? Well, let's take a look here as we try to determine who took that photo. Now, the photo in question originally appeared in Wizard Issue 9 as part of an article announcing the formation of Image Comics. No photo credit is given, however, the article itself is credited to Alex Chun. But once you do a comparison of the photo shown by Todd on the contact sheet and the photo that appeared in this issue, you start to notice some differences. The head position of Mark Silvestri or Eric Larson, even Rob himself. However, the biggest hell are the hands of Jim Valentino. Clearly, this hand position does not match up with the hand position shown in the photo that was published in Wizard Issue 9. Now, that doesn't mean there wasn't another roll of film taken by Alex Chun somewhere, which featured a photo that matched the one in Wizard Issue 9. However, it does not appear anywhere on the sheet shown by Todd McFarlane in this video. The photo posted by Todd McFarlane to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Image Comics in 2023 was the photo that appeared in Wizard Issue 9, not the photos he was holding up at the con. Though the differences in the photos are interesting, that's not what we're here to debate. We're trying to determine if Garib Sheamus was the photographer. If you need outside confirmation of Garib Sheamus even being in the room for this photo, we did recently interview Hank Canals, who is the non-Image Comics founder who was featured in the photo as well. Here's what he had to say about Garib's involvement with the photo. So there's, there's a famous picture that keeps coming up all the time. Every year, certainly around anniversary of Image's formation, it, it certainly hit the, uh, the internet pretty hard this year with the 30th. Uh, but every anniversary, every time they talk about the founding of Image, there's this picture of the founders of Image. And I'm in that picture. Um, Garib actually kind of shoved me into that picture. I didn't want to be in it because I certainly wasn't one of the headlining artists. But he said, no, 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 you're an important part of this. You need to be in this picture. It's like the formation of the Beatles. And so that's the picture. And Garib was kind enough to make prints of that picture and uh, frame it and send it to all the, all the founders. And that picture constantly runs, and everyone thinks I'm Wills Cretaceous. Um, <laughs> because Wills was a founder of Image. 
but he was in the Philippines at the time. He was unable to make that meeting. That was taken in Mark Silvestri's uh, living room. Uh, While Hank doesn't say specifically that it was Garib who was snapping the photos, he does indicate that Garib had something to do with posing the image founders for this photo, which is generally a power given to the photographer in the moment that they are taking the picture. We should also keep in mind that this photo was taken 30 years ago in a moment of excitement in a situation where there may have been many photographers taking photos all at once. Plus, the subjects of the photo are gentlemen who have had extensive careers in the comic book industry and beyond since that time. So who was taking the photo may be muddy in everybody's mind. Also add in the fact that opinions about each other have changed over the decades as well. So until either Garib Sheamus or Alex Chud hold up the negatives to the photo, show us the original picture as it was developed, we have no way of knowing for sure who it was that took the photo in that moment. But hopefully some of this evidence gets us just a little bit closer to answering that question. Thanks for watching. Hey.